Hey guys, and welcome to my new movie review for an absolutely brilliant classic comedy from all the way back in 1991. What about Bob? Okay, straight off of the bat, I need to say this. This might be a very unpopular opinion, but it's just my opinion, guys. I can honestly say that I feel even though Bill Murray is the central focal character of the film who plays the pivotal character of Bob Wiley, but I personally feel that Charlie Cosmo, who, who plays Ziggy Ma Marvin, is by far the funniest lines of dialogue in this movie. His mannerisms towards Bob, his pure childlike sense of humor is just absolutely hilarious and brilliant. Okay. Another absolutely incredible but amazing crazy element to this movie is that when I initially first saw it, I thought, no way, it can't be Frank Oz, as in the voice of himself, the one and only Miss Piggy, and the wisest alien in the Star Wars galaxy by far, far away, Yoda. It must be someone completely different. There's no way. But yet, it really is directed by... The great Frank Oz. How cool is that? The duration of this film is perfectly one hour and 39 minutes long. Now, let's roll the synopsis. What about Bob synopsis? A successful psychotherapist loses his mind after one of his most dependent patients, an obsessive compulsive neurotic, tracks him down during his family vacation. This movie is absolutely made for the whole family, guys, being rated PG. Guys, if you're looking for a movie with a great Richard Dreyfuss, who begins as the incredibly confident, upper-class, strong-minded Dr. Leo Marvin, and turns into, well, for those of you who've been following me for any period of time at all, you guys know that I do not do spoilers in my movie reviews. So you're just going to have to watch the movie to see what he turns into. It's hilarious. But I absolutely loved, what I loved about it is Julie Hatchett, who plays Faye Marvin. Yes, Dr. Leo Marvin's wife in this movie. Now, I can totally understand, guys, why some people might not like her character in this movie due to the high pitch of her voice but I personally absolutely loved it guys I loved her character so much in this movie she's one of those main characters who is constantly bringing Leo back down to his calm self and the journey that this movie goes on is really is something else guys it really is the story perfectly intertwines its character into his mental health journey I love how Catherine Nerd, who plays the beautiful Anne Marvin, Dr. Leo Marvin's oldest daughter, is so perfectly drawn into the storyline of this movie. Every single perfect character in What About Bob has such a powerful and integral character into this movie. The whole entire movie is character is just brilliantly executed, seriously. But I have to say, guys, my absolute favorite scene of this movie is, for those of you who have seen this movie, What About Bob? You'll know exactly what I'm about to talk about. And those of you who haven't yet, when you see What About Bob, you'll know exactly the scene that I'm about to talk about when I say... The Tourette's scene in the bedroom with Bob Wiley and Ziggy Marvin. Oh my gosh, when I was a young boy, guys, I used to quote that scene over and over and over and over again. It is so hilarious. Where this movie is filmed is so beautiful. The places, the landscape, the lake, the house, it is just perfect. It really is. Something that I found amazing about this film, guys, really, is what really happened between the actors on set of the movie, or more so how they felt about one another. But I'll get to that in the trivia of this movie review, guys. Guys, this movie is brilliant, hilarious, clever, incredibly entertaining for the whole family. I honestly encourage you, if you have not had an opportunity to go and see 
What about Bob? And I know you're probably asking me, where can I find this movie? It's not on streaming. I personally own this movie on on DVD. I don't own it on Blu-ray, but I do own it on DVD. And unfortunately here in Australia, the only way that I found the full version of this movie to rent slash buy, the only place I could find it is, at, unfor- not unfortunately, but is on YouTube. And I'm going to link the description of where you can find this in the description of this movie review. You are so welcome. Seriously, guys, this movie is a treat. It's brilliant. It's funny. It's clever. It's so well executed. It really is one of those movies that just, it stands the test of time. And for anyone who's been following me for any period of time, you know what I love about movies and what they have in their core element DNA that drives a movie forward and makes it the core element of its DNA rewatchability, guys. This movie has rewatchability in absolute spades, and I genuinely, authentically mean that in every way, shape, or form. Guys, What About Bob is brilliant. As I said, guys, it's driven to its absolute hilarity Man, seriously, treat yourselves if you want a, just a laugh to, uh, literally, I was clapping and cheering and I had to rewind so much of the, the, the Ziggy parts. Man, as I said at the start of this movie review, guys, in my opinion, in my personal opinion, he is the absolute core element. And uh, yes, yes, Bill Murray, don't get me wrong, Bill Murray is hilarious. He really is. He's brilliant in this movie. But Ziggy, yep. Yep, he seriously, Charlie, brilliant, absolutely brilliant in this movie. Guys, for anyone who's been following me for any period of time, you know what time it is in my movie reviews, guys. It's trivia time! In an interview, both Bill Murray and Richard Dreyfuss admitted that they did not get along in during this filming. Next piece of trivia is, guys, Julia Hatchity is only 10 years older than Catherine Nerd, in this movie, and who plays the daughter. Next piece of trivia is, guys, ranked at number 43 on Bravo's 100 Funniest Movie List. Next piece of trivia is, guys, Steve Martin was considered for the role for both Bob and Leo Marvin. How crazy is that? Next and final piece of trivia, guys, and I will leave you with this one is, the trailer features shots of the footage that don't actually that don't actually make it in the final film of this movie. And in a way, guys, that works for me for this movie because this movie is brilliant. It is so well done. It's so well executed. It really is a must-watch in my humble personal opinion. But guys, for those who have been following me for any period of time, I just want to take this opportunity to say, one, thank you so much for watching this movie review. I really hope you get a chance to go and see What About Bob. And if you haven't, for those of you watching for the first time, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate that. That'd be amazing. While you hit subscribe, if you're on a mobile device, go ahead and click that bell for notifications. That way, when I drop anything, guys, it'll be all straight away. I really appreciate that. And speaking of appreciation, I'd appreciate it if you leave a thumbs up on this review review. That'd be amazing. If not, all good, guys. No, pro- no problem whatsoever. I appreciate you being here. And just to count of curiosity, guys, what if you have seen What About Bob? What did you guys think about it? Did you think this movie was hilarious as I did? Leave your comments in the comment section below. I'd love to hear back from you. Seriously, what did you think about What About Bob? So funny. Man, this movie is such a classic. Until my next movie review, guys, don't forget who's bringing this movie review for What About Bob. This is Superman Steve, guys. Flying out!